What's up, people? It's your man, Black Cobra, back once again. Today, we're going to talk about EUC pedals. The differences in the pedals used on electric unicycles today. We got a few examples. We're going to talk about it. Let's go. So electric unicycles, our new favorite love. For some of us, we just came into the fold. For others, we've been in it a little while longer. But either way, this is something you got to talk about, you got to think about and decide whether you're going to make a change. We're going to talk about EUC pedals and how they have changed and how various versions of it may have a serious effect on how you ride and whether you make that change permanent. Now the pedal, the peg, or the foot plate, whatever name you choose to call it. This is our direct connection to our electric unicycle. This is actually our only connection to the electric unicycle. Therefore, it's extremely important that we weigh our options and we choose the right type of pedal or the right structure of pedal that we are going to use. When you look at the different ones, you have to be sure of what suits your needs. And the only way to do that is to weigh the options and weigh the choices and make the right decision. So when it comes to pedals, we're talking about the EUC pedal. This is a basic pedal. This is actually off of the Sherman. You can see it's a little dirty, but um, this is the pedal, the original pedal from the Sherman. And you can see it has the grip tape that's on it. Uh, and it's a nice long pedal. Some of the other pedals, um, I have the 16X, the V11, and the Sherman today to give you some examples. Now, some of the other pedals like the V11 and the 16X are wider pedals than this, but this is a very long pedal. So depending on the size of your foot, this may be perfect for you. Depending on the width of your foot, it may be perfect for you. But we're not really talking about the size of the pedal today. Um, the size of the pedal, depends on the EUC, but you can also change a lot of the pedals as you know. Now, I know many of you watching this, you guys already have plenty of UCs and plenty of experience. I'm really talking to the guys who are deciding, the ones who are thinking about it, the ones who are not sure what the differences really are and whether they even need to make a change. So that's who I'm really talking to. So again, it has the nice, you know, grip tape on it. Um, there's some that come with worse grip tape, some that come with better grip tape. So this to me is like a, a decent grip tape, um, especially on an original pedal. Uh, then you have Merlin Fish. Thanks Merlin, I appreciate you. Shouts out to Merlin Fish. If you haven't hit him up, the guy makes great product. Now he makes a pedal and it is studded and it's, an in, it's really like an, in, an inset um, for the pedal, uh, meaning, if I rip the grip tape off of this pedal, I could sit this in there if it was made for this one. And actually I do have one that's made for this one. This one happens to be made for the V11. You can see I have the Sherman and the V11. Uh, these were sent to me by Merlin Fish. Again, thank you, brother. So uh, you could rip the grip tape off, sit this inside, and then screw it down to that. And then what people haven't, well, not a lot of people have done, uh, I have seen it done and I'm thinking about doing it myself is we have some of this vicious grip tape. This is widely known or widely regarded as the best grip tape that you can get or one of the best grip tapes you can get. Um, so I have the vicious grip tape right here and my plan is to uh, put the vicious grip tape over Merlin's pedals, which would still give it the studded foot plate, but also would give it that added grip of the vicious grip tape. Now, I put these on my previous, my Monster V3, and I absolutely love them. If you didn't see that, I'll, I'll put that uh, video up in the card right now. Uh, but this was a wonderful, wonderful addition to my Monster V3. Those of you who are familiar with the Monster line, you know that the Monster needs some torque. It needs some pushing. It needs some coaxing to get the speed that you need out of it. And then while you're doing all that and you hit a good bump, sometimes your foot slides on any EUC really. Now you put your foot on this with these, with these studs coming through here, these studs hook the bottom of your shoe and grip and give you, it's harder for you to move your foot 
definitely harder for the foot to slip off. Some people still had trouble with that. Now, mind you, when I did this, I spray painted them black and then I put them on my Monster V3 um, and, and it worked out perfectly. They looked great, they worked great, they were just what I was looking for. However, some people have a problem with these because they're still metal and smooth and they're used to having the grip tape and their concern was that they might slip off. So that's where the vicious grip tape comes in. You take the vicious grip tape, put it on top of here and push it down so that these studs pop through the vicious grip tape. Then you have the grip tape you want and the studs you want as well. So that those together make a great combination. I've seen a couple of people online that have already done it. I plan to do it to these just to have another set, another type of pedal to work with. Then we have pretty much the newest iteration of pedals and that's the waffle pedal. Now this is the chick way, um, but there's the Nyla Nova, um, however you say that, uh, out of the UK, they make a really good one. Theirs is adjustable where you can adjust the height on it. Um, and then um, there is Gotway. Gotway just came out with their own that, that you can buy from the factory and they're adjustable as well. Um, and then you'll be able to uh, have this on your uh, brand new EUC. Now, the waffle pedal, to me, is what I love all around so far. Simply because the holes in the pedal allow the water, the dirt, the mud, the snow, everything to be pushed through and it doesn't rest on top of the pedal. Uh, it does have the studs. You can see that it has the studs on the pedal, um, just like uh, Merlin's does. These are thicker studs. I did have um, someone tell me that they felt that these studs were, they weren't as grippy because Merlin's are, are screws that are come through and they're, they're sharp. Um, well, they have the, not sharp, but, but they have the edges and ridges on them. So there's more to grip. These are metal nubs, if you will. And I did hear someone say that they, they wanted more of the grip that they got from these. So they took a, uh, a Dremel with a flat blade and they cut little slits in each one of these. And that gave them a little edge to grip on even more, something like the screw with the, um, the threads on the screw. And that helped a little bit more. But that's a preference. Um, I put these on the Sherman and I've been riding the Sherman recently. Well, not extremely recently seen as it's <laughs> deep snow outside still. But um, the last time I did ride, I rode on these pedals um, briefly and I really liked them. I really like the feel of them. I really like the sizing of them. If you look in comparison to this pedal, you can see that although the Sherman pedal has a, a little outside edge because it goes straight across and this one curves in. It has a little hair on it when it comes to length, but um, this pedal seems to be a little bit wider. Not a lot, only a hair, but a little bit wider. Um, Sherman does come out to the edge out here, but the way the pedal is designed, the way it fits your foot, you can see that one fits your foot. It's a little bit flat. It looks flat and long. This looks a little bit wider but they're both good size pedals. So if you like the good size pedals and you want um, them to really fit your feet, either one will do. Um, all of these are really good choices. If you like the original and you wanna stick to it, I do suggest taking that grip tape off and putting on some vicious grip tape um, just because so many people around the industry, uh, whether it be EUC or skateboard, they really stand by that grip tape. Um, so. I would probably take this off and put that off, uh, put that on. If And if you like what's already on here, I would wait till it wore down a little bit and then switch over. So the, the original foot plates that come with some of the EUCs are pretty good. I would suggest uh, if, if you didn't have the Sherman foot plates, I would go with the Nikola foot plates because those so far have been the ones that I liked the most. Um, and that's what I went with when I put on uh, my previous version of these Merlin fish pedals. 
I had uh, the Nicola pedals and they were on my Monster and that's what I had on there and they worked excellently. So I like the sizing of the Nicola pedals. I think those are widely regarded as the best EUC pedals pretty much. Um, that's just what, you know, what, what's going around. Remember, it's all choice. Um, everybody's different, but I think the most people that I've met when we talk about pedals have liked those pedals the most, so. But right now, I'm thinking that the industry is leaning towards these waffle pedals, obviously because you could see that even Gotway got on the, the, the bandwagon. Now, they didn't actually design them themselves. I think they got another company that designed them, but they took them under their wing as though they're, they are theirs and they're issuing them with their logos on them, I believe. So um, if you some of the videos that are out now um, uh, with the new wheels that came out, I think Zoom Wheels Brian in the UK, I think his had the new Gotway or Bigode, Bigode, whatever. I don't know how the hell they say their name now. But <laughs> they had, I think they had the, uh, I don't remember what it was Gotway or Bigode on the pedal, but they had those straight from the factory. So anyway, if you look at the EUCs, you look at the different pedals, you can see that on the 16X, I really like the pedals that were on that. Um, I think King Sung did a good job with those pedals. They're really large and they're properly uh, suited for that EUC. Um, and then if you look at the V11, I love the plate, the foot plates on the V11 as well. I think they're large and they're high, so I love those as well. Um, so I think those two wheels, they did a good job on the foot plates. The Sherman, I love the length of the foot plate. Um, I do wish that it was a tad bit wider. However, when you think about that, the Sherman already scrapes because the pedals are low. That's the one thing I don't like about the Sherman. Um, you can see they're all, I mean, a lot, a lot of EUCs get scraped up, but these are really scraped up because um, they scrape a lot. Uh, although I know <laughs> when I put these on, I'm not gonna lie, they also started scraping because they're low. Um, there's really nothing you can say about that. I, I know I've seen people put um, some abrasive material on the bottom so that it, you know, it scrapes that, but it doesn't matter what, it's gonna get scraped up, um, especially if you're riding a Sherman, because even though it's an excellent wheel and still my pick for 2020 as the best wheel, um, it still scrapes. Um, you will get scrapes on it, so no matter what pedal you have on it. So that's it. If you ride a bumpy terrain and you're always slipping off the foot plates, well, you can grab Merlin Fishes. If you want something where your dirt and stuff will slide through and you still can have the grip because you have the nice studs on it, then you can grab the uh, waffle pedals no matter which brand you get. Um, but these are the different ideas that you can get. These are the three, plus throwing some vicious grip tape on these would be a fourth example. And I think pretty much those are the ways that you can go. Original, uh, adaptation, totally different. So it's up to you to do what you want when it comes to your EUC, what makes you comfortable. Some people don't like the way their foot sits on the pedal and can't move. Some people like to make a lot of adjustments on their feet. If you like to slide your foot on your EUC, then these are not gonna work for you. Then you're gonna stick with the original and go with the grip tape, the, the vicious grip tape. But that's you. Um, you have to know you. Uh, as we say in EUC riding, know your wheel but you gotta know you, you gotta know your wheel, and you guys gotta be one. That's the only way to really ride your wheel safely and to get what you need uh, as far as the equipment you need uh, on your wheel. All right, that's all I got. I just wanted to be real quick and talk about pedals a little bit. I hope that you guys are enjoying your holiday season. We got a little festive motif going on behind, <laughs> behind me here. I hope that you are enjoying your holidays. I hope that you got the wheel that you want, and if not, I hope yours is on the way. As always, feel free to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I make new videos. And as always, you can come back and check me out anytime, whether on video or live stream. You can catch all my social media links down below, uh, including Twitch. I just started Twitch, The Black Cobra Gaming. 
But just because you can stream from the Xbox, I figured I'd give it a try. It's an interesting situation there. I'm also on Patreon if you want to go there and, and help to support the channel as well. You can also grab Wheel Life merch at teespring.com, of course. All the links to everything will be in the description down below. Check the description box. At any rate, I hope this gives you a little insight into pedals and what you may need or what you may want. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And as always, ride hard and keep it wheel. Peace. And I'm up.